Creation of something that started, I guess, as a hobby for a lot of kids, is now becoming a recognized sport all around the world. And that sport? Skateboarding. Now, perhaps when you hear of skateboarding, you think of a bunch of neighborhood kids riding down the sidewalk in front of your house. But there is a lot more to it now. Competition includes events like high jumping, slalom. Skateboard parks are being built all over the country. There's even talk that skateboarding may at some time be included in Olympic competition. <laughs> Good Lord. With us today is one of the world's great champions. Here is Tom Sims. Right here. Are they dangerous? No, not at all. No, not at all. No. Uh, Would you like to meet, meet my son with a big scab? Right here. No, is that true? No, no, but he did it wrong. Uh, I don't know how to do that at all, but you, what are your titles? Uh, first in the world's record high jump. Uh, Which first, means what? You jumped how high? Well, about yay high. Really? Yeah. Over a what? Over a high bar. Mm. A four feet two inches, and I got a first overall in the world championships. <whistles> and first in Ventura freestyle. My and first Lord. in Northridge freestyle. And first in about five or six other ones. It's really caught on, hasn't it? Oh, yeah. I mean, there are thousands of people on skateboards. Literally, yeah, hundreds yeah. of thousands. Of and the what world. they can do with the new sophisticated boards is incredible. Mm -hmm. uh, now, you're the champion, and yet I know you have two protégés uh, who are going to join you today. Is there anything you want to do first, or do you want to show some of the stuff we could never accomplish on our stage? So, some. Uh, some we have uh, <laughs> uh, we have on film, and the first is you doing the slalom, and that's the Magic Mountain contest. That was the Masters Invitational, right? And that was an excellent contest, and that'll be televised soon. And it was uh, a course they made especially from the top of Magic Mountain all the way down to the bottom, with a 30-foot high vertical ramp at the end. We had to go up. Oof. But uh, well, what do these cost? This is about a hundred-dollar board right here. From what to what? I mean, what's the oh, price range? The cheapest board you can get and have it a decent piece of equipment is about 30 mm. So it's about 30 to to $100. And how long have you been doing it? 15 I mean, years. How, oh, you've been doing 15 years? Yeah. But I mean, how long does it take to get a little proficient on it? Well, if you're at all athletic, um, yes. a couple of weeks. Oh. A couple of weeks for you. Man. Yes. <laughs> Mm. There's no, I mean, you don't have to be, a, you don't have to train for it like you do skiing. I mean, you have to be in perfect shape. Well, in the contest. You do? Yeah. And if you're a pro, you do have to go through, uh, you have to practice every day. Ah. Uh, or else the next guy's going to beat you. Now, there's certain divisions in each contest. I mean, uh, there's, a, there's, pro a, high and, there's a pro and amateur division. Right. And in each one of those divisions, you've got slalom, freestyle, and uh, 360, and high jump. Okay. Now, let's see. Here's a film of Tom Sims. Uh... In a slalom competition, I guess this was the one from Magic Mountain, right? Watch your television sets. Here's what we couldn't accomplish in the studio. This is the Magic Mountain up at the top of the course where the gates were really tight. And uh, we come down through this lower part and we change direction 180 degrees right through here. And then right now we're coming down to about a 15-foot high bank and that they made especially for this contest. Gee, look at that. And this was the most fun bank in the whole contest, right here. Now, sort of in the same way the snow skiing is set up, you have a high speed towards the top, and at the bottom, turns get very critical. Right here is about as tight as you'll ever see a slalom course. Look at that. And now here comes a 30-foot high vertical embankment. Gee! We have more. It's hard to tell on television, Tom, but what, have they ever clocked your speed? What, they, what do you get up to in speed when you're really racing out? Well, over 50 miles an hour gets dangerous because if you fall, you can't tumble out of it. You, you skid, and then you, you scrape off the skin. Well, there is a chance you could fall. On if a dog things. comes out in front of you. Ah. Like, oh, now, what are we going to see on this next film? This next film is from uh, Free Wheeling, a feature-length movie coming up. And it was a movie starring Stacy Pralta, myself, and Russ Howe. And we do we travel throughout California, going to all the famous spots, ah. the Pipeline and the T Bowl and the V Bowl, and all the 
The get toilet inside. bowl, that was another story. Is, <laughs> is that in Flushing, New York? No. <laughs> anyway, you get into those great big, uh, what do they call those water pipes? Or Drain, the, 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 the drainage. So, yeah, they're great. Those are unbelievable. Yeah, and you see those kids, they do a Well, there was three. a 16-foot pipe we went in and, at Mount Baldy. Yeah. And you ricochet off the walls inside this pipe. And up at the top is a, uh, a metal door with 50,000 gallons of water behind it. And it's dripping down through the bottom of it. And you just ricochet off each wall. And you get about, oh, 12 feet in the air up on these walls and free fall. Oh, that is it's really something great. I wouldn't want to do. Really great. Let's watch the sets again. And here's a, a film once again from, what's the name of the picture? Free Wheeling with Tom Sims. <laughs> this is the reservoir in Escondido. It was just about everybody's favorite spot. And... Uh, it's got all the nice angles. Most of the skateboard parts that are being designed today, are they're taking it off the same basic plane angles and everything. That's about a 25-mile-an-hour run shot in slow motion. Gee. Now, this is up in uh, San Francisco at Ghirardelli Square. That's an almost vertical slope right there. It doesn't look steep on film, but you have to do a lot of 360. And these are the same maneuvers that kids do on flat ground, but we incorporated it on, on a steep hill just so we could make it down to the bottom. Now, there was a railing there, and some people uh, Ooh. jumped over there. You know what's interesting? For such a raw for such a raw sport, it's a very graceful... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they weren't supposed to show that. No, but in motion, even the slow motion, it's almost like the form of a dancer. The lines are so nice. Lines, right. right. Well, it's very similar to surfing. Uh, Tom Sims. All right, let's introduce your two protégés here. Now, if this is first, she... Let's get a microphone. She is... This is Edie Robertson, and she has won uh, most of the contests in the last uh, year and a half. She's how old? She's 14. And she won first in the Northern California Championships, first in the Arizona State Championships, and first in Ventura, and on and on. Uh, she's a very graceful rider. Now, this surface is extremely slippery, which means you can't do any hard turns. So she's going to do just some basic uh, trick. That's a nose wheelie, one foot nose wheelie, very difficult. Hmm. How long would she be Pardon? riding? She's been riding about a year and a half. Hmm. Just She was in competition a couple weeks after she started and won the slalom in Santa Barbara. So. Want to try it, Miss Miller? Now, I'm hoping Edie's going to do a, uh, an aerial here. This is one of the hardest tricks you can do. Woo! That was really good. I wish they'd put that music under the head, and that was really yeah. good in rehearsal. Yeah, how about some of that music? Yeah. Oh, very good, Edie. Great. Great, Edie. Come here, Edie. Nice to meet you. Where are you from? Santa Barbara. Ah, great. Brothers and sisters? Yes. Uh, we are? <laughs> no, do you have them? Oh, yes, two. And two are they skateboarders? Sisters. My brother's a surfer. Was yes. the family worried at all when you started this? Yeah. My mom got me a helmet and knee pads and shoulder pads. <laughs> <laughs> She's really worried. Ah, uh, but I noticed the helmet and the ski pads and everything are missing today. Yes, because you don't go very fast and you have a less chance of falling. I won't tell her. If you don't. All right. You're Edie. Is this Steve? This is Steve Steven Edie. <laughs> <laughs> right. Who is this? This is Steve Monahan from Ventura. He's uh, the number one skater in the junior men's division. Woo! Good, Steve. <laughs> How old is he? Stevie's 15. He's also the number one surfer in Ventura and probably in the state of California in his age group. Whoa! We'll try it again, Steve? There you go. Steve's going to do an aerial for us, isn't he? Don't forget to go fast now. Fast, fast. No, no, that's not an aerial. Not an aerial. Don't do it.